Abdar. Right, let's go. Hi there, and welcome everybody to our webinar with Beyond Pricing and Hostify. So today we'll speak about dynamic pricing, and I'm really excited that we have that many participants today. Um, let me first introduce myself. My name is Chafta, and I'm the founder of Hostify. I've been in the software industry for more than 15 years, and now uh, since around eight years also in the hospitality sector, and I really like what we do. Um, so today I'm really excited to announce our integration with Beyond Pricing, which really complements our product. Colin? Yeah, thank you. My name is Colin Morrison. I'm a senior account executive with Beyond Pricing. I've been working with this company for uh, just over two years, but have been working in vacation rentals and short-term rentals since 2004. I uh, worked for another software company for 11 years prior to Beyond Pricing. So specifically working in vacation rentals and then having been a property manager previous to that, I know what the day-to-day -day is for, for you as managers and know how difficult pricing can be and was anxious to get started with Beyond Pricing a couple of years ago because now I get to see all the success our clients have using a dynamic pricing tool to help them manage their rates more effectively. So thank you for allowing me to introduce myself. Of course. So um, let's just short go through, um, through the agenda today. So um, I'll tell you a little bit more about Hostify, what we do, what, what features we have. So afterwards, Colin will explain you uh, about dynamic pricing and uh, in general, why to choose beyond pricing and how we can get started. And then next we can answer all your questions. Um, yeah, so uh, let's just uh, say a few words about Hostify. Uh, we are an all-in-one property management system which uh, has an integrated channel manager uh, connected to all the major OTAs and uh, booking platforms. So besides the standard features, we focus mostly on developing smart tools and automations so that we help our customers to streamline their daily business and operations. Um, we've launched um, in 2019 so we are more or less fresh on the market but since then we have been really working hard to extend our feature set and onboard plenty of listings around the globe um colin so you can explain a little bit, of, okay. a little bit about uh beyond pricing yeah so we're a revenue platform, revenue management platform built specifically for short-term rental managers. Uh, we also have a division of our business that caters to individual owners as well. I personally work mostly with short-term rental managers and vacation rental managers. Uh, we've been in business for about seven years now. Uh, to date, we've priced over 340,000 listings in 7,500 cities around the world uh, to a tune of a total of $4 billion in bookings price. So just to give you a little bit idea of our scale, um, it's been exciting watching our company grow and seeing the clients that we serve become more successful. Wow, impressive numbers, Colin. Thank you. Thank you. So let me explain a little bit. Uh, a bit more about Hostify and why, why to choose Hostify. Um, so I'll try to keep it short. <laughs> um, well, to scale your business, you need to work smarter, not just harder. So that's why we uh, mostly focus on smart tools and automations uh, in Hostify so that uh, our customers can save a lot of time and resources uh, on, on their uh, daily operations and uh, daily tasks. So um, that's the main thing. Uh, number two, um, get more bookings. How? So we're directly connected to all the major booking platforms, uh, which means Airbnb, Booking, Expedia, etc. cetera. Um, so this allows uh, our customers to get more visibility and on top of that, Hostify offers also um, options for a customizable booking website to get their uh, direct bookings and inquiries. And then third, um, we really take care of our customers and that's not just a cliche. Um, we won't let our customers just um, uh, reading the help desk whenever they need something to get changed, uh, our technical support team can uh, help them out and do the changes for them as well. And we have also during the onboarding process and also uh, 
for ongoing uh, setup tasks and configurations. Um, let's switch to um, some of our core features. So uh, basically, as I said, we are connected to most of, uh, I mean, actually all the major uh, channels and uh, booking platforms. All the connections are via API and they are two-way, uh, so that updates are in close to real time. And uh, by the way, interesting story, uh, while I've been developing our integration with Beyond Pricing, um, we've realized that uh, some of our pilot customers have been heavily bombarding our system with thousands of uh, price updates and requests. Uh, so we had to update and optimize things on our end. And um, so the, the integration with Beyond Pricing helped us a lot also to, to optimize things and uh, make things faster on our end so that all the updates are now uh, in parallel and we bypass all the load to the OTA. So I hope they are well prepared for that. Um, cool, so let's, let's switch to the next one. So our unified inbox is um, a core feature of our system. And um, as you all know, the guest communication is crucial for uh, good guest experience and good reviews. So um, it's really, really important to have everything centralized in one place. And our in inbox connects to all um, the, the platforms uh, for most of them with through through API and to to some of them uh, via email, and we get all the communication centralized in there. Uh, so um, it's actually not just an inbox. We we also offer a lot of uh, tools to and features to collaborate with with your team, so that for example your team can put internal notes, so they can. Um, uh, prioritize threads so they can snooze the threads and uh, in general they see uh, at a glance everything related to, to a single reservation and um, that's, that's really important so that everything goes uh, um, very efficient to, 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 the, to, to, uh, to the people which are working with it. Um, so, um, so in, in addition, everything is actually also based on latest technology so that uh, the users get notified in real time so they can respond as quickly as possible. Good, so that's it here for the unified inbox. Let's just switch to the next one. It's the multi-calendar. That's also a core feature and a central dashboard of our system where um, the users have overview of all the bookings and the pricing. So basically, all the pricing which come through beyond pricing uh, are visible uh, in close to real time in the multi calendar. And um, in addition, there are also a lot of shortcuts from the multi calendar to go directly to, it, to the inbox, to the threads. Uh, users can also add direct reservations there. And they see also a lot of additional info related to, to, to the reservations, which uh, it's very important to, to uh, have everything in one place and not, not lose focus there. Um, cool. So let's switch to the next one. Colin, thank you. So <clears throat> as I said, uh, the automations are really a key feature in our system. In Hostify, you can automate the, the, the messaging so that you can send automatically check, uh, check-in instructions, check-out instructions, um, plenty of reminders, payment requests, and everything related to, to guest communication. Um, everything is based on uh, dynamic uh, templates, which are uh, specific for, for the properties which are in question. Um, so in addition, you can also automate tasks so that your housekeeping team get automatically um, uh, notifications and uh, tasks about uh, about cleaning and eventually uh, inspections if they need it on the properties. 
Uh, we also automate the payment processing. So this is also here the example in this case, so that uh, we can automate uh, deposits, we can automate prepayments, um, and uh, also um, there are the options to, to get notified in case of any issues. And um, in addition, we also uh, automate uh, Airbnb reviews, so that you don't need to take care about uh, leaving guest reviews for every uh, reservation. It can be done automatically from Hostify. Um, cool. Um, let's go on. So um, in addition, as I said, it's very important that in Hostify, our customers have the ability to get more bookings. So that's why we have developed um, a very flexible booking engine, which uh, is really easy to set up. So basically you can uh, set up the website within minutes and um, it's more or less pretty flexible. You can set up uh, um, your background, your logo, your, your, your colors, and um, you can also uh, add additional content if needed, but um, it's, more important thing is that you can get direct instant bookings um, directly in, uh, in in Hostify, and you can process also the payments through through the Stripe integration, uh, which we offer. So uh, the payments go directly in your in your account with uh, with our uh, booking website. And um, in addition, so that's actually on the right, we offer. Um, for, for the doors that want to go the extra mile and offer uh, and have actually a really flexible and uh, fully customizable website. We have implemented the WordPress plugin, which is really flexible and gives you um, the freedom to, to implement the website in, um, uh, that's, that you would like to have so that it's um, combining different widgets from, uh, from Hostify so that you can place them whatever you, you find it suitable so that you have uh, the experience that you would like to have. So it's, in short, it's really flexible and you can make really uh, professional and state-of-the-art websites with it. Okay, let's move on. Um, so uh, in addition, we, we have our owner portal. Basically, we, we offer the possibility to, to share access to, to your owners and landlords so that they are up to date with the progress and uh, it's really uh, flexible in a way that you can set up what exactly the owners see that, uh, for example, um, if you would like to have them uh, see the, the, the calendar uh, or not, you can see details about the reservation or Oh, yeah. um, you'd like to have them only see the, the revenue as a progress. So everything is up to you. And in addition, you can also um, brand the owner portal with your logo and your color scheme and domain name so that it really looks professional for, for your owners. So basically, in this case, nothing is stopping you from sharing with your landlords how good are you doing with their properties. And if by any chance you're not doing that great, I'm sure that Beyond Pricing can help here. Okay, Colin. Thank you. Yeah, uh, great, fantastic introduction of Hostify. I'm gonna attempt to do the same for dynamic pricing and beyond pricing. So why dynamic pricing? Why on earth should you change your pricing strategy? I get to talk to a lot of clients all over the world and many of them, you know, they might have some, some might even have just a flat pricing strategy, just one rate throughout the entire year. Uh, others might have more of a seasonal approach to pricing, high season, mid season, low season. And even some are more sophisticated than that where the, they'll actually take events and holidays into consideration. So I've illustrated that here on my slide and we're looking at a very popular holiday in New Year's Eve. So. December 31st, 2020, uh, the yellow line indicating the seasonal and holiday pricing. As we move throughout the year, you can see how those rates jump up for Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas into New Year's, and then down to more of a flat rate, followed by a low season rate uh, through April and May. And then as summer comes, uh, July, the 4th of July in the United States, a very 
popular holiday, the rates start to increase. But you can see the variation on the daily rate for New Year's Eve, $200 if you were just to have a flat pricing year round, 250 if this was considered your high season. And if you wanted to price this based on a holiday, uh, you would in, you know, increase the rate even more upwards of $400 in this case. So lots of different approaches to pricing. Um, now, the reason that people choose to use dynamic pricing is because dynamic pricing is, is tied to demand. So what Beyond Pricing does is looks at supply and demand in every area that we work in and help you determine what your rate should be. And it's always flexing. It's always moving up or down depending on the changes to supply and demand because supply and demand will change uh, on a day-to-day, hour-to-hour basis. Um, you know, Hostify does a great job at allowing you to try to manage your rates as effectively as possible, making it as easy as possible to change your rates. We just are going to help take things to the next level and help you with automation. So here's what layering a dynamic pricing strategy would look like over the top of these three you know, more standard rate strategies. So dynamic pricing will be represented by this teal line. So you can see it's all over the board, but moving from left to right here, you can see seasonally we're coming out of a season heading into the fall. Uh, we're still, in this case, we're accounting for weekends to weekdays as these rates fluctuate up and down through the midweek to the weekend. And then as we hit our holiday period, uh, what I find with a lot of property managers is they tend to underprice some of their holidays. They don't realize the demand is so high during those periods and that they're leaving money on the table by not pricing that high. This is definitely indicated, or we, we're definitely illustrating that here for December 31st, where dynamic pricing in this market could bring that rate up as much as $675. So much higher than where you're at now. But then you can see as you come out of the season, our rates, uh, particularly midweek, tend to be a bit lower. Another way to help you drive more revenue for your, your owners and property manager is to bring pricing down to try to achieve occupancy. So we're gonna work with you on both average daily rate as well as occupancy. And it's that combination together is what allows us and our clients to achieve higher revenue results. There's several factors that we use to manage your rates. Each individual home gets assigned what's called a base price. The base price really is just the starting point for which all of your rates are gonna be fluctuating up or down. And so with each home having its own base price, you can have a unique strategy for each one of your individual properties. We're then gonna account for seasonality. You know, that's more typical for how you're probably managing your rates now. If you're not using a dynamic pricing strategy, you have your high season, your mid season, your low season. We're going to look at it based on almost 365 seasons because day of the week is a, is a big factor that we leverage as well. But the seasonality curve, you know, when things are busy, when things are not, is going to apply to your rates. Local demand, so local events, holidays. You know, things that are causing demand to rise um, outside of seasonality or outside of a day of the week factor, for example. Uh, think of a concert that comes into town and wanting to make sure you're priced optimally for that. Our systems will automatically detect those increases to demand and apply a higher rate during those periods of events or holidays. And then lastly, as I've mentioned, day of the week. So having a unique price for each day of the week, knowing that in most markets, Tuesdays are not as busy as a Friday. Therefore, you should be charging more on Friday than you are Tuesday. Now, Thursday is going to be busier than Tuesday. Sunday isn't as busy as Friday. Really, when you break it down, every day of the week has its own level of supply and demand and therefore should have its own rate strategy. And that's what we do with Hostify is we're able to apply these factors, hyper-local data into you know, from your market and get down to the details of each home to allow you to price dynamically on a daily basis. So let's talk about why beyond pricing and some tips to get started. So beyond, we, we take the guesswork out of pricing. As you see, my t-shirt says pricing is tough. We fix that. It really is a difficult you know, strategy. As easy as Hostify makes it to, to change your rates and adjust your rates, what data source do you use? What KPIs should you be looking at for each property or for your market? How on earth can I really decipher how much supply and demand there is on my market to manually price my homes properly? And that's what Beyond Pricing does. We take that guesswork out of that. 
So, you know, our insights tool, this is a fantastic resource recently developed within the last year or so and continually evolving. The insights tool leverages the data from Hostify and presents it in such a way that you can identify revenue opportunities in your business and in your market. And in many cases before your competition can. So you can benchmark yourself against others in your market. You can see how you're performing on an average daily rate standpoint, occupancy, revenue per listing, um, you know, the rev par, I mean, all of these metrics are very important to use to analyze the success of your company. And probably more importantly, where those opportunities truly lie. Our insights tool is powerful. Our users are finding it as a great complement to our pricing tool as a way to help steer them in the right direction and where they can leverage those opportunities to drive more revenue. So a pricing strategy unique for each listing. You know, a lot of clients, when, when I'm talking to them, prospective clients, they ask, well, you know, you mentioned lowering rates to try to gain occupancy. You know, there's a point where I don't want to rent my home or my homeowner doesn't want to allow me to rent my home. There's a level in price that I don't want to go below. We allow you to deploy minimum rates for each one of your properties. So you can tell beyond pricing, at no point do I ever want to go below, in this example, $145. So you can say, that is my floor price, and our system will never drop below that rate. So whether that's an opinion of a homeowner or your own internal strategy on where it just doesn't make sense to rent the property at that rate, you can tell beyond pricing, this is the point for which we want to stop lowering our rates. So you can protect those lower rates. Um, you can also do that seasonally. So in the example on the screen between December 22nd and January 2nd, this particular user has configured a minimum rate of $180. So even though demand is really high in that period and our algorithm will likely never try to bring the rate that low in this market, uh, you can still add in protections by time of the year as well through our seasonal minimum feature. So uh, a lot of great ways to you know, constrain the algorithm. We find the more you allow the algorithm to stretch its legs, the more successful you'll be. But we understand sometimes there's things outside of your control, like your own internal costs or homeowner opinions that are going to determine, hey, this is the lowest rate I want to offer. And we'll just objectively point out when potentially offering lower rates could drive more occupancy, ultimately up to you to make that decision. Keeping your owners happy. I, as a property manager myself, I knew how important keeping my homeowners happy were. Uh, when I started in 2004, uh, there was no Airbnb. VRBO was starting to knock at the door of us professionally managed companies. And that became a threat to us, a threat that we ultimately in, engaged with because connecting to those channels as part of our distribution is a great way to diversify your distribution. And at the time, that was a threat in the sense, and it still is, homeowners don't necessarily need to work with us as professional property managers. They can go and try to do it on their own. So we need to make sure that they know that partnering with us is gonna ultimately lead to far less headaches from trying to manage on your own. And in the end, far more revenue, even after paying our commission. So keeping your owners happy is very, very important. Just like Hostify, we provide reports that you can share with your homeowners on how each property is performing and why your rate strategies are set the way that they are and where the opportunities are, et cetera. So we, we, we take pricing the markets very seriously. We use hyper-local market data, data that's unique to your specific area where each home is located. Uh, that data is really what makes all the difference. Having that market data and being able to effectively leverage that to your pricing is, is really what our secret sauce is. Um, analytics at your fingertips, again, you can allow to share this with your homeowners. Uh, it's a, a, one of our, a lot of our clients will actually you know, download their homeowner report, share that with the homeowners in their monthly newsletters. Um, it's a great way to be proactive rather than reactive where a client is or a homeowner is calling you saying, hey, why isn't my property renting enough or renting for a higher rate? You can get in front of that. Um, of course, our support team, just like Hostify, world-class, fantastic support, very prompt responses. Uh, we have a customer success team that works with some of our larger clients. Uh, really, you know, a, a multi-pronged approach to supporting our clients. And, you know, when it comes to software, it's the support that really sets, uh, sets you apart. And, and we, we invest a lot of resources in our support team and, and get a lot of great feedback from our clients at how, how well our support team does to support our users. 
So automation, customization, you know, again, by leveraging this market data and then by using the automation beyond pricing, we're going to free up time to allow you to potentially grow your inventory or focus on other areas of your business, focus on your customer success strategy, for example. And so the automation and the customizations are unique to each one of your properties. So with, with a few slight configurations, you can control and again, set the parameters for which our pricing will operate within and allow you to rest easy knowing that beyond pricing is doing the work for you. And all we ask of you in order for you to optimize your success, log into Beyond Pricing once a week, once every other week, take a peek at some of the KPIs. You know, We make it as easy as possible. You're really not gonna be spending much time in Beyond Pricing because so much of it, uh, so much of the effort occurs between the API that we've developed with Hostify. So you know, again, we've already spoke about the minimum prices, allowing you to set those by season. You can configure extra guest fees if you need that. Uh, controlling your minimum stays, allowing you to use dynamic minimum stays Days is a great part of a revenue management strategy, uh, reservation gap discount. So recognizing gaps in your calendar, reducing minimum stays to try to fill those gaps, uh, changing your minimum stays last minute saying, well, I want a four night minimum throughout the summer, but if it's inside a week, I'm willing to take a three night booking. We can automate all of that. So you no longer have to manually try to watch that, go in and manually change that. And then of course, last minute discounting. I hear this a lot from our clients. So uh, in this case, decrease your rate by 20% for the next three days. So you can tell beyond pricing, I want to slowly start dropping my rate. The algorithm's still going to pick up on changes in supply and demand. You can control that even further and say, you know, heading into a weekend or into a busy time period, if I have any homes available, let's start lowering that rate incrementally to a point where I can start to drive some occupancy and pick up some bookings that I normally wouldn't get. All of that is automated. You don't have to worry about remembering uh, which homes are available this weekend and which homes should I start discounting to try to try to drive some occupancy. Beyond Pricing takes care of that all for you. Okay, that is the end. Uh, we're, we're at a point now where we're gonna do a Q&A with the audience. I already have a question that's come in. Um, and the question is, if you change your rates, how can you get picked up into a promotion for the channels to tag? So uh, as I understand the question of the, the channels, the OTAs, uh, they can pick, pick up on you know, different promotions. Um, our focus is gonna be on, on providing the most optimized rate at any given time. Um, the this, this specials or promotions, uh, they don't necessarily lead to higher conversion um, just based on our own analysis. Uh, so we don't, the, so the channels typically won't pick up on that. They'll pick up on the, the rate change because of our direct connection and API with, um, with Hostify and then Hostify, of course, with their direct connections to the channels. But from a promotions or special standpoint, we're still focused on just optimized daily rates that are fluctuating, again, based on supply and demand so that we have the best rate for your clients at the right time. Um, Chavdar, I don't know if you had anything you wanted to add to that. Yeah, I think another that question. work. So most, some of the channels actually open out the promotion so that the price gets really tacked as discounted on the channels. Mm -hmm. That's something that we can definitely tackle in the future. Um, currently, we'll just, as Colin said, we'll pass the, the price changes to, to the channels and then uh, they'll pick on that. Yep. Good, thank you. Next question is, what is the main difference between you, I'm assuming beyond pricing and Price Labs? Uh, price Labs is a company that came around probably five years ago after you know, we really developed this space. Um, you know, they, they do a good job at what they are. They're, they're really just a, a, a pricing tool. Um, you know, we, we certainly have that element. I think what differentiates beyond pricing, at least the feedback I get from our clients, and we have a lot of clients that switch from Price Labs to beyond pricing, uh, the, the difference is results. Um, we have a, tr a very tremendous, you know, vast support team that supports our clients. We have a revenue management team. We have a customer success team. Um, so that support, whether it's managing the hyper local data in your market, ensuring that you have the best rates, answering questions that you might have on strategy or best practices, all of that leads to better pricing and therefore better results in the form of incremental revenue for the business. So uh, that's the number one thing that our clients share with us is, you know, when they when they turn on Beyond Pricing or when Beyond Pricing turns it on on your behalf because we do uh, assist our, our pro professionally managed clients with um, the onboarding as well as ongoing support uh, past that initial launch, uh, that, that, you know, that approach to support is what leads to, you know, ultimately better rates and therefore better results in the long run. Um, next question for longer term stays is the nightly short term rental rate discounted. Um, 
Well, that's a, that, that question can come a lot of different ways. We do have the ability to, for some, and, and I know that Hostify is, is a, certainly a company we're, we're anxious to work with eventually on, on long-term rates. Your long-term rate strategy should differ from your short-term rates. Um, it, so it depends on, I, I, I don't know necessarily the genesis of, this, genesis of this question in terms of, you know, are you referring to your like monthly rates in, in Airbnb, um, if, if that's the case, our focus is on daily, nightly rates, particularly more on a short-term basis, although we are developing some long-term rate strategies and long-term rate algorithms uh, for stays, like, for example, longer than 28 days. I think that's okay. Cool. It's best like um, for, for, the, for the monthly and weekly discounts on, on Airbnb. So, so basically from our end, we'll have the base prices um, received by from beyond pricing and then uh, based on these prices we apply also on, on top the weekly and monthly discounts which are um, as defined in uh, in Airbnb so so basically yes um, the, the 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 rates are discount discounted based based on your settings in in hostify and then as in hostify they go also in in Airbnb for example Yep. So our rates will be optimized. We push them into Hostify. If you if you have strategies in Hostify developed, like specials, for example, those will still be applicable and and uh, you know push out to the channels if necessary. So um, definitely something you want to communicate with your customer success manager at Beyond Pricing about. We want to make sure we're all on the same page and we're trying to row the boat in, this, in the proper direction to achieve your results. Okay, the next question uh, from Theodore, huge fan of Beyond Pricing. Thank you very much, we're flattered, but previously unfamiliar with Hostify. Is Hostify something that works in the background with Beyond Pricing or is it a separate platform I should be signed up with? Chabdar, would you like to take this? Question. <laughs> Hostify is definitely a separate platform. It's a property management software. So basically um, it's a standalone software which where you can also set up uh, the pricing and everything uh, related to uh, to your pricing strategy, but with beyond pricing, things should be uh, much more efficient and optimized. Yep. Okay. Do the price or do the prices are based on the owner's website or by the demand on the OTAs? Um, if I'm understanding the question correctly here. Um, with beyond pricing, you can set parameters for which our pricing algorithm will function within. So pricing will can, can adjust up or down depending on what minimums you have set, if you have any maximum set, uh, what your base price is for each property. So what, what sets your pricing is going to be what your base price is, your starting point for each, each of your properties. And then our hyper-local market data and the factors that we manage. So day of the week, events and holidays and seasonality those are what influence pricing, starting with supply and demand, of course, serving as a foundation. So it's all of those factors that influence your rates. And again, we're still gonna price based on the parameters that you set. So you still have complete control over the rates and we'll just function within the parameters that are set for each property. Okay, next question from Theodore again. Wheelhouse is definitely looking to pick off some of your customers. Why should I stay with Beyond Pricing? Uh, again, comes back to results. Um, I'm not super familiar with with other competitors in our market. We don't typically lose clients to other to other competitors. We actually more so probably bring them our way. Um, uh, you know, again, just going back to results and support. I think you'll find um, you know beyond pricing. Our, our focus is on is on pricing as well as a few other products we've developed, um, and you know that's what's going to set set us apart from all of our competition. We're the first in the market. We've been around the longest, and our clients achieve the best results. Do you have a tool which shows a, a user your demand forecast or can help them predict future forecasts of demand and revenue? Absolutely. Uh, within Beyond Pricing for each one of your properties, you can see what historical demand, supply and demand is, AKA occupancy in your market, as well as what's on the books into the, into the future, into the next 12 months. So you can see what supply and demand is into the future and you can see how well that's matching up to what's happened historically. And that allows you to predict 
pricing and rates. The algorithm is of course gonna do that with each property, but you can then relay that to your owners or internally or, or leverage that, uh, that data. A lot of our clients do like to share that demand data with their clients so they can see exactly why their rates are, for you know, the example we used on the screen, exactly why their rates are $675 over New Year's Eve, for example. I signed up for Beyond Pricing last week, struggling to get set up. Great, we have a fantastic support team that uh, can you know, help you and support you. Uh, definitely reach out to support at beyondpricing.com. For our clients that are uh, skew a little bit on the larger side, that say that are doing more than $500,000 in revenue uh, each year, um, you know, total revenue for bookings and fee revenue. Uh, those clients do get a dedicated customer support manager to walk them through uh, how to set up and, and they'll actually do that work for you and then um, have a team to support you in moving into the future. Do you offer the same rates on your website or on the OTAs or how do you apply a difference with the commissions? This is actually a question I'm gonna to steer towards Chavdar. Um, yeah. Beyond Pricing connects directly with Hostify. We're gonna be pushing rates into Hostify. What happens after that is uh, is in Hostify, so okay. Chavdar. Yeah. We, we get the base pricing more or less from Beyond Pricing and based based on that, we put uh, channel specific markups for, for the different OTAs. So that, for example, you can put 10% markup for Airbnb or 20% markup for Booking.com. So basically you're pretty flexible to have different price strategies on, on the different OTAs. Yeah, and also a lot of our clients do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. To cover the yeah, covering the cost of the OTAs, incur obviously trying to encourage people to book direct. Um, you know, you're never going to outspend the OTAs on advertising for you know the competition <laughs> to get the eyeballs, and therefore, if you can't beat them, join them. Again, it's a good part of a diversified strategy. And so, marking those rates up to cover some or all of the cost of that commission is a great feature that Chavdar and his team offer through Hostify, and something that's configured in Hostify. Um, right. Am I correct that Hostify is more targeted to professionally managed properties or someone that owns multiple properties? Chavdar? Um, I'm not quite sure what's the difference, but yeah, actually Hostify is more um, targeted for, uh, for the professional property management companies, uh, which handle more than, let's say, one or two properties, um, because our software may, may be a bit more complex for someone who has one or two properties um, because there are too many, let's say tools and automations which are um, meant to, to optimize things when you deal with more properties. But I think the system should also work fine for someone who has uh, even one property. Yeah, uh, and that kind of ties us into the next question, is Hostify available to homeowners? Is there a minimum amount of properties you own to get on your platform? Um, good question. Um, as we have actually more or less an, um, an onboarding process, which, which takes some time. Um, we, uh, at the moment we, um, we're actually working on a, on a product, which is targeted for homeowners, which, as I said, have one or two properties. Um, and it's everything, um, a bit more targeted to uh, today use cases, uh, but it's still not available. Um, and uh, for the time being, it's, uh, um, we actually target more on, uh, on companies that handle more properties. Uh, however, we, uh, it's, it's something that needs to be discussed with our um, uh, sales team. Um, maybe we can find a way to, to onboard someone who has uh, uh, one or two properties, so that, that shouldn't be an issue. Just reach out. Okay, um, thank you. Is there a way that you recommend handling not letting the bottom price go below the desired price with the weekly or monthly discount? Uh, would like to discount for weekly and monthly stays, but not necessarily if we're at the bottom rate suggestions. So with beyond pricing, we're still going to push rates based on changes in supply and demand. A lot of our clients forego using weekly or monthly discounts as a result because pricing is optimized based on every single day of the week uh, and every event and holiday and all the seasonality and whatnot. Um, but what you do with your rates after they're pushed into Hostify or pushed out into the channels is up to you. We will stop at what the minimum rate is configured in Beyond Pricing. 
Again, what happens after that is is up to you. So, uh, Chabdar, I don't know if you guys have any sort of controls on that on that area. If someone were to apply, um, our best practice is not to use weekly or monthly discounts after Beyond Pricing pushes the rates into Hostify. But um, if they do, I don't know if you guys have any in your thing in your system, Chabdar. But it's really not a best practice. I don't think so. I, didn't, I don't think so. But yeah, someone needs to pay attention on that so that uh, the monthly and weekly discounts do not. Uh, lower too much the price, which is which would be then below the the minimum which is set up in uh, in beyond pricing. Exactly, we're optimized based on data, supply and demand in your market, and that's ultimately what's going to leave you to the best pricing and therefore the the most revenue for your clients. Um, will the recording of this webinar be made available? Yes, we will follow up with the recording. Um, where is Hostify based, Chavdar? Good question. <laughs> Our team is actually based around the globe, so we have a team. Uh, in the US, we have a team in, in Spain, but uh, most of our team, which is mostly tech, technical focus, uh, is based in, in Bulgaria, in Sofia. Fantastic. Beyond pricing, we're kind of all over as well. Originally started in San Francisco, California, but we've now find ourselves all over the globe uh, with teams in many, many countries around, uh, all the way around. So um, good question. Um, okay, a question from Alan. Does Beyond Pricing system account for year-over-year -year occupancy rates? Yes, and incorporate that data into pricing in addition to area, local trends, events. Absolutely, that is the foundation. Looks like that question was answered about or asked about halfway through the webinar. So I'm assuming that I've answered it. If not, please follow up with another question. How does Beyond Pricing uh, differentiate for luxury rental properties? No two bedroom apartments in the city are, are equal with respect to quality and luxury. Is the system just fluctuating up and down in percentages from the base rate established in the setup? Um, Yes and no, to, to answer kind of all of those questions at once. Uh, the base price is how you control rates for each property. That's how you differentiate one two bedroom that has a higher quality from another two bedroom, maybe even with the same floor plan, that's potentially a lower quality. Uh, because we are, you know, very hyper local, um, you know, and our day of the week factor actually fluctuates based on seasonality as well. Um, all coming back to that base rate, you know, we see this in cities. Um, we see this like in ski resort towns where you know properties that are right next to the slopes do very well um, on you know busy ski weekends in the winter time but over the summer those slope side properties there isn't the value that being slope side has uh, in the winter even though the ski resort towns are still very popular in the summer so we are able to account for more of those amenities by managing the base price for each individual property um, you know, in terms of introducing amenities into the algorithm, that's something that I know that our team's working on or, you know, looking into. Um, I believe that's where you're ultimately asking here in your question. Um, but, you know, the, the, the management is unique to each property and it all comes back to that base price, if that answers your question. Um, what is the cost of beyond pricing? Um, our fee structure is very straightforward. Uh, for our clients that elect to um, partner with us on a, an annual basis, our fees are 1% of any booking uh, that we help price. Uh, so anytime a property is connected with Beyond Pricing and bookings are coming through uh, while Beyond Pricing is connected and, and us pushing rates out into Hostify, uh, you will incur a 1% charge on the rent and fees for that particular booking. So super straightforward. It keeps our success aligned with yours. Uh, if, if you make more money, we're going to you know, do better as well. So that's why we're always continually developing our product, adding enhancements, fine tuning the pricing algorithm. We don't use a flat fee pricing structure because we want to make sure that our, our success is aligned with yours. And therefore, we do charge 1% commission on any booking that we help you price. So, uh, Chavdara, would you care to share your fee structure? It wasn't, the question wasn't specific to which company. So if you'd yeah. like um, to share, and I know, you know, it kind of varies based on term and, and size, et cetera, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So our pricing actually depends on the amount of properties uh, that a specific customer is managing. So basically um, our standard rating is, um, starts at uh, $20 a unit. But with the amount of properties that um, uh, our customers manage, uh, the price goes down, um, and can, could could go up to up to ten dollars a unit. And for for some regions where um, there is high season, uh, seasonality or uh, the revenue is not that strong, so for example, for for Asia, 
Uh, we offer also commission-based pricing, but that's something that needs to be discussed with, with our uh, sales team. Yep, on the screen, we've got the contact information for both of our sales team. There are individuals standing by that would be more than happy to answer more detailed questions and what's more applicable to your business and the type of business that you uh, you run. Uh, Judy had a question here in the chat um, about why I'm just getting started with my first short-term rental. How would you start off uh, with Beyond Pricing? Uh, you can go to our website at beyondpricing.com and sign up there. You can connect uh, to your channels or if you're using a property management system, we can connect there as well. Uh, for someone that's managing one property, we've got uh, some fantastic support resources, a lot of videos that help coach you on how to uh, how to how to get started, uh, what strategies to deploy, how to fine tune the rates um, on your cap on your property so that you're you're optimized. Uh, we also have the ability to reach out to our support team and they can help uh, help you answer any or help answer any questions that you might have. So um, for longer term stays as a nightly STR, I think we talked about that already. Uh, we have a house that sleeps 14 guests for the weekend. The price is three times a Monday night. Would Beyond Pricing take note of this? Um, we're going to pr price based on supply and demand. And uh, of course, the factors that we manage, uh, the seasonality, day of the week. So yes, the weekend rate is going to be much higher if your market dictates this, which most do, but uh, the weekend rate is going to be much higher than the weekday rate, um, let's say a Monday, for example. Now, again, we talked about the controls or the parameters that you can set. So if you have a minimum rate that you wanna see on Mondays versus a minimum rate you wanna see on the weekends, you can configure that in Beyond Pricing. What you'll find is you actually probably won't need to because if demand is justifying it, we are going to price that way and with that much of a multiple into your weekends. But again, only if supply and demand are justifying that. But if you wanna take things up a notch, you can control your rates from the weekends to weekdays um, and set your minimums for weekends to weekdays. So um, I hope that answers your question, Paul. Another question here, uh, when, when Beyond Pricing is arriving in a new city, what historical demand do you use Airbnb bookings for new properties? So, We've been doing this for a long time. Uh, we're in our seventh year. Uh, we've been collecting data in, all over the world for, for that amount of time. Um, Airbnb and VRBO are two primary sources of data. We do leverage booking.com data. We also leverage your own internal data. Uh, if you've been using a property management system like Hostify for a while, we'll be able to pull in that historical information when we do connect. Uh, therefore, you know, we, we are, um, you know, when we do launch in a new city and we, we have a systematic approach to doing so, we have the data to basically launch all over the world. We've taken more of a systematic approach because we want our revenue managers to be able to evaluate each market, fine tune the dials that make sense to fine tune based on their own research. I mean, that's why, you know, we've, we're now working in over 7,500 cities around the world. We started with one or two and, and slowly started growing and growing. But our team of revenue managers, their eyeballs, their analysis has occurred in every market that we work in. So it's going back to that historical um, publicly available data, like the data from Airbnb and VRBO, along with our own research, is how we actually launch a new city. And again, this is another thing that sets us apart from any of our competition is that systematic approach we take to launching markets. Okay. I think that's the end of our question, um, unless I'm not seeing any. Um, you, maybe. Yep. Oh, here we go. Uh, the seasonality of my area, the season rate is a factor of six times from the off season rate 500 a week for Austin through K. Your system is only showing about two times. How does your, I don't necessarily understand the question, Norm. I'm, um, if you'd like to reach out to me directly, my email is colin at beyondpricing.com. So C O L I N at beyondpricing.com. Feel free to email me. I'm happy to answer any question that you might have. Um, another question popped in. Do you use IA or revenue managers? Uh, we have a team of revenue. I don't know what IA stands for. Forgive me. Uh, we have a team of revenue managers um, on our staff. Most of them have experience directly as revenue managers or as data analysis, data scientists. So they're constantly, I like to say, geeking out on the data, really uh, focusing on um, making sure that our algorithms are configured correctly in all the cities that we work in, um, looking at one-off scenarios for that each of our clients might have, um, really working on fine-tuning the rates. Again, this is what sets us apart from really anyone else is, is that team of revenue managers that help make sure that your rates are optimized so you get the, the best results. So um, again, Colin at uh, beyondpricing.com, artificial intelligence is what he meant by IA. Um, our AI is part of our 
uh, part of our technology. Um, revenue managers, I think, have the biggest impact. Uh, if anyone tells you that you can rely on artificial intelligence or just data to automate your rates, uh, they're not informed. Um, we leverage market data, we leverage technology, we leverage automation, we make your time spent and beyond pricing as efficient as possible, but we also have the team behind the algorithm, behind the technology to, again, optimize results, which is why you know we're the number one in the business. So thank you, everyone. Appreciate it. Chavdar, thank you very much, sir. Thank you also, Colin. Uh, it was nice speaking to you. And thank you, everyone, for taking the time to, to, to take part in the webinar. And as Colin said, if you have any questions uh, related to Hostify, just uh, use the contacts shown on the, on the slides and uh, uh, reach out.